Hello again, YouTubers and Kai Judo fans. Minon03 here again of eBay and YouTube, owner of thegamecapital.com for trading cards, games, toys, and more. And for today's opening, we have our second box opening on this channel of Kai Judo Dragon Strike Infernus Booster Box. As I mentioned in our last box opening, I opened up 10 boxes of Kai Judo cards on the same day, but we'll probably have at least a week between each video upload. This doesn't get too redundant after the conclusion of our Kai Judo week of videos, basically. So first of all, let's see what our box topper is. Well, it's not a topper, it's not in the front, but it is nice. A super rare Krager of the Hordes. Last box we had a very rare. This time we get a super rare as a box topper. Still no Andromeda yet, but hopefully that will change very soon. Um, last box we had two super rares on the left side. So in case that repeats, we'll save what may be the best for last and open the left hand side after the right hand side. If you want to see all the commons and uncommons from this set, watch the first box opening we did. If I remember, I will have an anti link on the screen at the start of this video so you can check that out. But to avoid excessive repetitiveness, we're going to show you just the last two cards in the pack after doing the trick, like so, as these should be a rare plus who knows, either a foil or a common or uncommon, you never know. So the rest will just put off to the side. And then we'll show us the two cards per pack so we can get through the box a little quicker. So our rare is Bone Rattle Dragon and an uncommon Spark Cage. So she'll help us get through the box a lot quicker. Um, the first box, I sort it all at the end. And we got between three and five of every uncommon and between six and seven of every common. So pretty good distribution. And for the single rares, we got between one and three of each. The three of each, we only had that happen once, though, so it was one or two of basically all the rears. I think this is actually the only rear we got three of last box. Horn Blade Dragon, and Uncommon, the Swarm Leader. So basically, if you buy a box of these, you should get a full place of commons and uncommons, and at least one of each rear, which is pretty nice. And then you can get the rest from trading or buying singles or what have you. Here we got a common Hammer Fist, which means the regular rare, Ripper Reaper. So, no foils within our packs just yet. But like I said, last box, the better stuff was on the left-hand side. Again, I'm not sure if that will hold true throughout. But anyways, next pack, we got, ooh, a rare Bottle of Wishes. It's one of the better rares in the set. And super rare, another Kurigar of the Hordes. That's our third one then in our two boxes. Let me get some more sleeves out here. Failed to get more out, unless I knocked him to the floor, it's also a possibility. So there is our second Krager of the Hordes of the box, and we have a full playset then. So any that we get after in our future boxes of that card will for sure be for sale. Just so you know. Next pack. We've got Spellbane Dragon, another one of the better rares. And Lux, one of the more playable uncommons as well, for that matter. Knocked one card to the floor while I set that last batch down, just grabbing that. Don't want to forget it's down there and stomp on it or something. All right. Try to start moving a little faster here. Doing too much yapping as usual. All right, here we've got Gemini Dragon. Actually, that's when we had three of last box, my mistake. And Kanina, uncommon. pack we've got Ensnare, rare, and a very rare, Dreadclaw Dark Herald. Well, speaking of very rares, in our first box we actually had one of each very rare, not including the box floater. I don't know the best name to call those loose foils, but we got one of each plus a second one that was the insert in the box, so very good distribution there too. Not sure if every box will be that way or not, but only time will tell as we get more of these boxes opened. Next pack, we've got Steel Hammer Common and Queen Tenawa Rare. As soon as you see that Common as the first card, you know there's no foil in the pack. I don't know why the Common is the only level rarity that goes in front of the Rare, but whatever. Here we've got Dauntless Tusker and Ragefire Tatsurion. That's the one we had as our box filler last time. So we got three of him as well then. Uh, 
All right. Two, two. Dragon's Breath. Another good rare. And the Swarm Leader again. Yeah, that Dragon's Breath, you can take out three of your opponent's creatures with that single shield blast if they have a bunch of weaker monsters, creatures on the field. So, can be very nice. Arachnopod Rare. And Ancient Grave Worm Uncommon. And last pack for the right side of the box. Gives us Spellbane Dragon again. Had yeah, duplicates of that in the first box as well. And Dracothane of the Abyss. Super rare. Which we had in our first box as well. So, um, so far for the super rares, we've gotten all duplicates. There's two we haven't gotten any of, including Andromeda. Even though we got one of that in just three blister packs we opened previously. So, hoping we find Andromeda or, I forget the name, but the fire types. Super rare as we don't have any of that one yet either. Next up here we got Copper Locust, common, and another Dragon's Breath. Not too bad. Never mind getting duplicates of rares if they're of the more valuable variety, of course. Naturally. Next up we got Arachnopod. And there we go, and Furnace the Awakened. So that is the fire type that I could not recall the name of. So, Andromeda is the only one we have not pulled from a box so far, then. But we have pulled it, at least. So, we have pulled at least one of every different card in this set, then, already. Two. Here we've got Queen Taniwa and Spark Cage. So, there sh in these packs, we should have three more very rares if the distribution is the same as our previous box. We've already, that's funny, including the box top, we've gotten four super rares, but only two very rares so far in this box. So we'll see if that evens out here by the end. Grudge Weaver Common, and a rare of Ripper Reaper. I think we had Ripper Reaper in the first pack that we had as it, with a common in front of the rare. Interestingly enough. 2-2. Two, two. Reflector Cannon Rare. And there's a very rare. Sakran the Untamed. I'm just because I didn't do it before. Here's a close-up of Infernus the Awakens. So you can see all his abilities. I showed them all in the first video, but we did not get him. So I don't feel it is as important to show the text on all the air cards. So these are our first box opening. You should know what they do already. And that just saves us a little bit of time in the recording and viewing process here. Hornblade Dragon Rare. And Bagash. A Stomper Fire Civilization card. Yes, I believe that's what it's called. Civilizations. That's what I've been having trouble coming up with in past videos. Like, they're not clans. They're not... Yeah. Herald of Infernus. Another good rare. And Devouring Smog. So, five more packs. And we're still missing two very rares. Let's see if we can locate them. Two. Two. Dragon of Reflections. Good rare. And Lyra the Blazing Sun. I think that is the most valuable very rare in the set. I checked price in between the last two boxes. All the very rares in the set, except for Lyra, are pretty equally priced. But Lyra is worth about twice as much as any, as any of the air ones. So that's the most important one that we find. It's close in value to some of the super rares in this set, actually. 2-2. Two, two. So let's see. We're just missing the um, water civilization, a very rare. Here we got Patchwork Surgeon and Burn Claw the Relentless. Three more packs. So we'll go a little over 10 minutes. Not too bad for a full booster box. Granted, we're not showing all the cards, but still. Ensnare, good rare. And Emperor Dendrite Uncommon. Two, two. Bottle of Wishes. Another one of the better rares. And Spark Cage. That was our second ball of wishes, I think. I believe we got two of that in our first box as well. With our second coming, the very last pack of the box. And now this is our last pack of this box. Do we have our last very rare? Or are we shorted one? Bone Rattle Dragon. And there we go. Kendrick's the Psionic. Actually got three of him then, since that's one that we got in our three blister pack opening. So, a better box than the first one. As we got 
four super rares as well as a box topper, with one being the fire type in Furnace of the Awakened, which is better than the Isola or whatever the water type one is called. And then the same very rares as last time, except instead of getting a second Rage Fire Tatsurian, we got a second Kuriger of the Horde Super Rare. So, pretty solid. Then while I close, I'll show you the rares here once more. And in the meantime, subscribe if you haven't. You can then get email alerts for all of our future video uploads here on the Minerno 3 channel. Um, give us a big thumbs up for our great box opening of Kaijudo trading cards, Dragon Strike in Furnace. Check out thegamecapital.com for trading cards, games, and toys. Again, that is thegamecapital.com. You can find a link for that, as well as our Facebook and our Twitter and more in the video description box below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next video. Thanks again for watching our Dragon Strike and Furnace box opening. If you want to see a past upload of ours of Clash of the Duel Masters uh, box opening, click the left hand side of your screen. And if you want to see deck profiles, matches, and more, check out my friend's channel, Kaijuo247, by clicking the right hand side of your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.